r slash ask reddit men what things do you enjoy that are typically considered girly i really love poor strips my job can get greasy and sometimes i'm working on a boat four weeks at a time where i get covered in grease and rust on a daily basis the most satisfying feeling was using a poor strip the day i got back it was absolutely heavenly my only plight is that i can never find them advertised for men but the lady on the box always has great skin so I don't mind. Justin for your information pore strips can be more damaging for your skin in the long run. That's correct. The best way to get rid of blackheads is by massaging an oil based blackhead scrub on the nose and rinsing with warm water. Melts everything away and doesn't damage the skin. My wife is getting me some. I'm a big baby. And trying to squeeze blackheads out of my nose hurts so damn bad. Hopefully this works. Some people do have blackheads, but you're probably looking at sebaceous filaments, which are actually all over your face but noticeable mostly to you on your nose. If you were to shove your face 2 inches from other people's faces you'd notice a lot of other people have this too. It's normal. There isn't anything you can do about them unless you want to wear concealer. Basically, if your black spots are evenly spaced like you're looking at every single pore they're not blackheads. But blackheads would appear erratically uneven. I wear aprons that were my grandmother's when cooking. They make me think of her standing at the stove, preparing her excellent dinners. I don't care if they're for ladies one of them even has honeybees and sunflowers. Aprons are like a jersey for cooking. When you put one on it's game time baby. Apron equals cooking jersey. Thank you. Apron equals cooking armor. Oven equals war horse. Spatula equals lance. I'm a straight guy with no artistic talents whatsoever. I ducking love musicals. Have you seen Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? My favorite musical. Just good music. Picking and arranging flowers. It's beautiful out there right now. My dad used to pick from our rose bushes every summer and make arrangements. I loved it but my uncles would make fun of him. Duck them. Putting others down for enjoying something harmless is stupid. I love being the little spoon. She can be my jetpack. There are two kinds of people in this world. People who like being the little spoon and ducking liars. Everyone likes being the little spoon. It makes you feel safe. Jake Peralta from B99. I like to sew and crochet. I do parallel beads and then started cross stitching. It's a great activity that doesn't require a lot of thought and helps me de-stress after work. People will sometimes give me shit for it until they see what I make and then they usually want to buy something lol. I love making things with parallel beads. Something about finding a pattern online and following it is just so relaxing. My only problem seems to be how I sit while working on parallel beads. It winds up hurting my back. I probably lean forward too much. It's definitely better than staring at a screen all day, even if I'm copying a pattern on a tablet screen. I like to note. Sing along to female led vocals in music. The majority of music I listen to right now is female led. Damn straight I'm singing about the guys that broke their hearts. Getting ducked in the ass. That went from 0 to 100 real quick. Only if you buy into all the gender separation bullshit. Gay or straight, prostate stimulation feels good for men. Jesus Christ, I forgot what the original question even was when I read this. Girly shampoo and conditioner are so much better than men's. Especially if you have a manly mane. It's like men's shampoo is specifically designed to turn your hair into toe. I take a nice long bath with bubbles and wine, sometimes champagne. To relax usually about one two times a year i can see why girls are always having baths with bath bombs candles and wine maybe a book it's very relaxing i see it as a girly thing but i ain't got no shame about it i mean i'm even a stereotypical bro and i love my baths seriously my name's kyle i drink monster energy i ride dirt bikes lol Better to unwind that way than punch holes in the wall. The thing with baths as a girly thing is that women's preference for baths is just pure biology. But the difference between male and female physiology leads to women being much more likely to enjoy baths than men. Because women are much more like to fit in the damn bathtub. When my wife is out of town, and I have the night to myself, 
I will oftentimes take a long hot bath, maybe even with bubbles, use my wife's nice skincare products afterward, put on my bathrobe, and have a nice herbal tea while I watch old movies. My wife doesn't know I do this. I can't wait until the day my wife returns unexpectedly to find her husband spa day the duck out, just chillin'. Tell her, I'm sure she would love to have a spa day with you sometime. I ducking love bath and body works. Those three wick candles baby. This is literally how you can tell if a guy has ever lived with a woman for any considerable length of time. At first it's like okay uh, sure I'll light a candle while we watch this documentary, and then it's like I'm going to play some League of Legends but first let me light this wood wick candle mayo. When I was a bachelor in college with a decent apartment to myself, I noticed girls were most impressed when the place was smelling good and it was clean. That was the key to a second date. Being excited over love stories and the like. I legit get so excited for romance whenever I'm reading. I get so into the character's feelings and I so want them to be happy. When a romance plot ends badly, it absolutely breaks my heart and I just sit there and cry for a while. Soaps. Fancy ducking soaps from the fancy soap store. Regular soap is just shit after that. I know. You know you're an adult when a splurge is a fancy soap. Romantic TV shows and movies. I just like the feeling when two people are happy together. Okay. I'm into that. Give a duck about my clothes matching. Sometimes I'll see something in a store and say something like, this would look great with my green shoes. My brother says something like that's so gay whatever. Cargo shorts and Walmart t-shirt looking ass. I'm ducking terrible with matching colors. But I've got the past 5 years wearing black everything. Now that I'm slowly moving out of that, I have no clue what matches. So I ask one of my friends and she tells me whether it goes or not. I'm not really out there with different things yet, but it's nice knowing I have an outfit that matches instead of me throwing shit together and saying whatever. Matching your clothes is great. I braid my hair. When alone and if I have time I can make all the basic braids. Pigtails. French. Dutch. Milkmaid. Crown braids and so on. I know how to weave ribbons through my braids, flowers and other decorations. I braid my GF's hair and her friends. They think it is amazing. I don't think anyone has any idea I practice on myself. I'd really like to wear one of those German style dresses and have long braids. But that's another story. Can I be friends with you? I have finger numbness and arm numbness but I have long hair and have always loved getting my hair braided. My SO. Bless him. Tries so hard and just cannot wrap his brain around it. I've tried showing him but I'm already bad and clumsy. I like going to smaller towns that are big on wineries and artsy crap. I enjoy wine and walking around looking at stuff in shops. That more makes you French than girly. Hugging. D. Amen brother. Bring it in. My wife and I wear the same size clothes. If she buys a pair of pants that I think I can pull off. And that actually has pockets. You're goddamn right I'll wear em. I have an immense amount of respect for this post. I can't even comprehend this. Because my wife's clothes seem so tiny. That even after nearly a decade of folding her clothes. I'm still like this piece of clothing cannot possibly fit a human being. Baths. I play hours of volleyball at a time and that wears down my entire body completely. Every time after volleyball I take a nice warm bath with a Gatorade by my side and it is the most soothing and relaxing thing. Man. If I could find a tub big enough, I'd love a good soak some days. I told one of my guy friends about a sale at Michael's. Because I got a sweet deal on picture frames and I knew his apartment didn't have much in the way of decor. He told me never to mention a sale at a craft store to him again. Anyway, patriarchy is also bad for men and their ability to put their ducking pictures in affordable picture frames. Dude I'd be so stoked if a friend got me some picture frames. And I love Michaels. Right? And why are we pretending craft stores aren't like super awesome? Like even if you're big into manly shit. Model cars are seen as a decent hobby for dudes. The Michael by me sells those rocket kits and the engines which are ducking awesome. And if you want the good spray paint you gotta go to a craft store. Shopping for clothes. I love getting new things to wear. 
Yesterday myself and my fiancé went clothes shopping for our honeymoon. At the first shop my so asked me if I wanted to head to menswear while she gets her stuff and we meet at a designated time. I suggested we stick together and help each other pick clothes. Neither of us are big shoppers so we were estimating maybe 3 hours if we zip around. It was a big shopping center with loads of shops. It turned into an epic 7 hour shop. I thought I would hate it but instead really enjoyed it. Both of us ended up with clothes we both love and it was a really nice experience. I use face masks and use skin treatment for my pause edit. This is the highest amount of upvotes I have ever gotten. Thanks. My favorite color is purple. I never understood this being girly. Historically purple and pink have always been masculine colors. It's only very recently, as far as I can see, that they have somehow swapped to being connected with girls. I cross my legs when I sit. Fight me. Hey I do too. Wasn't aware it's a girly thing. Actually, it's comfortable. Fluffy pastel pillows and ropes. Couples money pedis are awesome. Panties are also quite comfortable just lounging around. Sometimes a silk nighty if the wife wants. Just last night I was wearing my wife's satin kimono. Awesome. I've got two stuffed animals. They travel with me in my work backpack. I obviously don't run around showing them off. And they sleep in my bed. I'm 26. LOL my husband has a stuffed dog his grandma gave him when he was 6. When we're lying in bed. He likes to hold it and he'll put it next to the pillows for decoration when we make the bed. One time we took a trip for Memorial Day and as a surprise I took it with us. When he pulled his pajamas out of the bag. He grinned and just sat with it on the hotel bed while we watched the Fast and Furious on TV. When I first met him. I thought it was was weird. But now there's something about a 28 year old man who likes his stuffed dog that I find incredibly cute. Painting my finger slash toenails is fun af. I also love wearing leggings. They're so damn comfortable. I get jealous of all the skirts and dresses and general clothing variety women get. Male clothing options are so boring. 100% straight BTW. Being able to cry my eyes out next to my partner whenever I feel really upset. It feels wonderful to open up like that and receive comfort. Since being an impenetrable fortress is stereotypically manly. Taking baths. Shaving my legs. Sometimes I shave my arms too. I just love how smooth my legs feel afterwards. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.